Rough season for the St. Louis Rams uh, so far this year. One of the bright spots, middle linebacker, former Buckeye James Laurinaitis, who joins us now via the Subway Fresh Take Outline. And James, great to catch up with you. How are you? Doing pretty well. How you doing? Doing great, thank you. All right, the Rams, a little bit of a tough start to the season with a couple losses to, to good teams, the Giants and the Eagles. So tell us, how are things in St. Louis? Uh, things are going pretty well. You know, watching the back of the games, you know, we made a lot of mistakes um, that have kind of helped out our opponents. And uh, like you said, we lost two good teams. When you play, you know, two of the better elite teams in the NFL, um, you know, you have a hard enough time playing them straight up, let alone when you shoot yourself in the foot. Uh, so we've got to correct the football things, and we'll get back on track. And we got another tough one with Baltimore coming to town this weekend. Yeah, big Raven, big game against the Ravens. That's a defense too, because uh, you're not that much younger than I am. That's a defense you've had to kind of grow up admiring, right? With all the linebackers and all the the great defenses they put together. Oh, absolutely. You know, it all starts with uh, you know Ray Lewis, and and now they got Nada and Suggs and Ed Reed, and you know they've had they've had a good squad for a while on defense. And, and like you said, I mean, they basically won a whole Super Bowl uh, off of the defense. <laughs> they really so did. They are, uh, they are, you know, they are definitely a team that you, growing up, you love to watch play. Uh, you like to play watching, you know, defensive football. So it'll be, it'll be cool to see those guys in action too on Sunday. Good news for you and all the other St. Louis Rams defenders is you don't have to go up against guys like Ray Lewis, right? Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, but we got, we got our own challenges and guys like uh, Ray Rice and uh, you know Joe Flacco and uh, you know they really have. They really have uh, two solid tight ends with Dennis Pitta and uh, Dixon from Oregon a couple of years back. And then they have uh, Anquan Bolt, the former Cardinal, that is uh, a tough receiver. So they got a good squad over there as well. And, and uh, you know, we just got to do our best to try to stop the run. Rames linebacker James Laurinaitis, our guest here on 97, won the fan. Monday night in that loss to the Giants, you had 14 tackles, nine solo, five assists, one tackle for a loss. Uh, just watching on television, you were all over the field. You're feeling pretty good on, uh, under the bright lights of Monday Night Football. Yeah, you know, it's, that's one of those things Ohio State did well for me was, uh, you know, when you're able to be uh, in college and you play in a lot of primetime games, you know, you, you play in front of 105,000 at the shoe. There's really not a pro, uh, you know, stadium that's going to have more fans. Kind of, you know, there's nothing kind of, I guess, uh, there's no bright lights that you haven't already kind of experienced. So, you know, it, it all, and what it ends up being is another football game. you got to be prepared. you got to know what you're doing, and you can't really pay attention to all the extracurricular stuff. Um, but it, it, is a, it is a cool experience to know that you're, you know, you're the only game on that night uh, and that, uh, you know, not only all the fans are watching, but that you have a lot of your peers in the NFL watching as well. What can you tell us about Coach Steve Spagnolo? Uh, Spags is a is a very smart football coach. Uh, he's, he's uh, I would like to describe him as uh, he wants you to know the details, but he also likes seeing things from your perspective. You know, so he's not a coach that's going to say, "Hey, it's my way or no other way." He's going to say, "Hey, you know, how do you see this? You know, do you want to play this way or should we play it this way?" And, and he takes a lot of player you know, feedback. And, um, very smart defensive-minded football coach. So, you know, that's why I love playing this defense because it's a, it gives you an opportunity to, to make a lot of adjustments, a lot of checks, and then be really aggressive, which is what you want to you know, be as a, as a football player, especially on defense. And when you played for the Buckeyes, it almost seemed like every game the defensive unit was 11 guys who all kind of gelled as one and all knew where each other was going to be and, and where to be. It was almost instinctive. Do you get the feeling that you're building that on the Rams? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and – our defense takes a lot of communication, so I would say, you know, it forces you to be uh, bonding and be on the same page, you know, because, you know, linebackers are communicating with the D-line and the safeties are communicating with us and vice versa. You know, there's a lot of things that are changing, a lot of adjustments. And so as long as everyone's on the same page and, and we start to come together more as a team, uh, we should start putting up some better stats and having better performances. Rams linebacker James Laurinaitis, our guest here on 97 won The Fan. Let's talk some Buckeyes with you real quick. Uh, coach Luke Fickle, the head coach now, I'm sure you got to know him quite well where you were at Ohio State. What was he like? Pretty intense, good coach? Coach was uh, very intense, um, but just a phenomenal football coach. You know, and, and He's a guy that got me ready for, for the NFL. He always expected the best out of you. He always demanded the best out of you. Um, I remember coming back from my senior year. Uh, he told me he was going to be harder on me than all the freshmen because he said he wanted to set an example. You know, he was never going to let me just come back and coast. He was going to push me to try to be the best. And, and uh, so I owe a lot to Coach Pickle for that. You know, he never let me get complacent. And um, he, had, 
you'll have those guys uh, ready. You know, we were we were always extremely prepared, extremely detailed, and uh, yeah, I just remember how hard his his tests were. You know, we said a linebacker test before a game. He would he would challenge you with a whole bunch of different formations and stuff. But you knew uh, after a week of preparation with Coach Fake that you were going to be ready to go come uh, Saturday. He almost seems like a guy who, if he was given the chance, could put the helmet and the shoulder pads back on and get out there and play with you guys. Well, he'd be out there in a second. Believe me, he would be out there in a second. He, would, I, he is the guy that uh, anytime there'd be a scuffle on the field, you always look to see where Coach Pickle was coming in to break it up. You didn't know if he was going to break it up or whether he was going to try to throw some guys around. But <laughs> he, uh, he's definitely a passionate guy. You can tell he loves the game of football. And, uh, and I think it trickles down. You know, it did when we were in the linebacker room, that's for sure. You saw the passion that he had for the game. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we took over as the coordinator, the same thing. And now as head coach, the same thing. You know, the guys played extremely hard for him. Uh, I guess Miami, you know, they obviously came up short. But uh, you definitely didn't see a lack of passion, uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So obviously just from your comments, you're following this year's team. I know as an NFL player, your life is pretty much consumed with your work and your preparation. But, you know, what do you like about this year's team? I know you still are not that far removed that you probably know a lot of the guys on this team. Yeah, you know, they got a they – a, you know, that's one thing that's – one thing that's getting weird about, you know, being three years out now is that you know – a lot of the guys that are seniors, the guys younger than them, you don't really know that well. You know, so you're like a, yeah. you're trying to figure out who these guys are, what they're like. You know, you don't really have the inside scoop anymore like you used to. But uh, they have a good set of seniors. You know, Sabino and Sweat, Storm. These guys were all coming in when you know right before I got out, and they're really a good uh, a good group of people. And uh, you know, I think with this team, they haven't really come together yet. They don't really know what their identity is yet. You know, they'll figure it out here before the Big Ten schedule comes together, but uh, they definitely have an opportunity to be uh, be something special. You know, that's the one thing about the loss to Miami, even though, you know, it just happened, you still have a Big Ten championship sitting out there in front of you. So, they'll come together, they'll get those guys off of suspensions, and uh, we'll see what they really become. Now, let me just ask you this, you know, playing for the Ohio State Buckeyes, uh, it happens a lot when you're at a lot of these NFL games, probably running into former teammates, former players, guys who, you know, were maybe a little bit older than you, but coming back for games. How regular do you see, you know, former teammates or hear about former teammates playing in the league? Yeah, you hear about it quite a bit. You know, it's, it's, it's cool to see guys that I played with, you know, playing on other squads. It's weird, but it's cool. You know, Malcolm and I are, are real close friends, Malcolm Jenkins. And, uh, you know, you get to see, for instance, last week, you know, we played against the Giants, Jake Ballard, who's their starting tight end. Um, we played with Jake at Ohio State. And, and then even seeing guys like Will Smith, who you watched before you got to Ohio State, you mm-hmm. know, Orleans. Um, it's just a cool deal. I got, man, heck, I got a chance to play with with Niall Diggs last year, and uh, Diggs was a obviously a Buckeye back in the day. I mean, Diggs played the year with Coach Fickle, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> yeah. it's kind of uh, that was kind of a weird transition. I said, hey, you know, one of the guys you played with was my linebacker coach, you know, and it made him feel kind of old. But it's cool to be able to play, and there's a, there's always a special uh, connection when you have guys playing together. You know, it's just something about the brotherhood that is Ohio State and. I think that's what makes Ohio State just as a school and as a whole alumni base kind of so special is that people take it seriously and they take it as a, as everyone's family. Well, we certainly miss you here in Columbus, James, but we're thrilled you're doing so well with St. Louis. Wish you best of luck Sunday against Baltimore the rest of the season. We'll hopefully catch up with you again soon. All right, thanks. Anytime, man. Rams middle linebacker James Laurinaitis. That is one scary dude.